Hey, Pete here with the Small Business Resource Center and the Small Business Resource Center YouTube channel. I hope I start posting more videos. Um, mainly, there's a bunch of reasons why I slowed down. I know I mentioned in the comments and messaged a few people who were wondering what happened with my videos. But, uh, <laughs> well, maybe I'll start posting again. One question that I had, because there's so many things going on <laughs> in these day and ages, is what are good investments? And it doesn't have to be just real estate, doesn't have to be just stock market. You can invest in other things that could be profitable. Uh, normally don't do this, but I was driving. My primary occupation is real estate, of course, so I drive all over, saw a yard sale sign, s decided to stop in, and I stopped in, and then this is what I saw. Um, there are a lot of hunting gear and a lot of other things. And, um, well, hopefully, I'm going to give you a close-up of this. <clears throat> there was a lot of hunting gear. There was a lot of various household items. But when I saw these, they were all marked uh, $10 to $15. There was like four, three of them for $10. The rest were all $15. So I said, hey... I think these are worth more. <laughs> and I don't collect cards anymore. I did when I was in high school. I'm sure a lot of people have when they were younger. Some people still do. There's nothing wrong with that. And some people in, are not just collectors. They invest in these type of things. So I said, hey, wow, I think these are worth more than 10 or 15 bucks. I remember paying more than 10 to $15 for packs of cards when I was young. So sat my car for a second, looked them up real quick, and I was like, wow, maybe this would be a good investment. Went back to the, the ladies, and I said, hey, how much for the cards? And then they pointed and said, well, they're all priced. I was not even paying attention. My ADD kicked in. So, of course, then I was like, oh, 10, 10, 10, and all these others are 15 apiece. And they were like, yes. And she said, do you want to buy them all? <laughs> Make me a deal. And I said, wow, um, let me think here. Counted the boxes. There was 13. Um, so I was like, well, this is going to be close to $200 with the prices they have. So I said, how about 150 bucks?" And you throw in this, which was a stainless steel multi-tool. And I was like, <laughs> this was tagged as $5, by the way. So... Uh, this is definitely useful, so I was pretty happy to get it, and they were like, okay, great, and I was like, perfect, um, and this is what I have, I'm gonna, by the way, I did not exactly know if this is a good deal, and I'm not exactly sure what I should do with these. Option number one, I could probably just save them. Option number two, just sell them right away and flip them. Option number three, which probably most people would hate, would be to open all of them up because <laughs> they're all sealed boxes and I was pretty shocked to find these sealed boxes at you know uh, a yard sale because most of the times you don't see them but uh, let's see what we got here this one I looked all these up so I'm gonna be switching so you can see but this is a 2021 tops tin tin can if you know anything about it comment below that's number one. Uh, 2021 opening day, 35 card pack. Number two. Uh, this one I thought was going to be better, but when you're looking at um, 2020 artist proof uh, gallery tops, number three. And then there's three of these uh, Donruss or Panini, excuse me. Uh, Diamond Kings, 2021, five card pack, seven card box, Uno, Doso, Treso, all these appear to be sealed. Then there's a 2021 hockey, not a much of a hockey fan, I actually have gone to many hockey games. I go to just drink and then wait for fights to break out. <laughs> so, but kind of cool. Um, 
Then we got Series 2, 67 cards per box. So we got this one right here, and this one right here. And now we got these, okay. And then Series 1, these larger boxes here. One, two, and series two, these boxes right here. So it says seven, 14 cards plus an anniversary pack. So I was pretty shocked to find all these and to get that deal. I calculated that I could probably resell them for around 350 to maybe 450 depending upon how I priced it. That doesn't include any fees that I might have to charge online unless I post it in some place that's free. Um, so I'm going to show you what I came up with. Hold on one second here. Okay, so the first one I'm looking at is the Top Series Baseball Sealed Tins 2306 here. Um, I did see some a little bit cheaper, uh, but then some were around the $30, so I just selected this one. Now we're looking at the Diamond King Panini's uh, blaster boxes, and they're about 34 piece. Once again, I did see some a little bit cheaper, some more expensive. There are three of those. And then there's a 2020 Topps Gallery box. They're about $28.99 each. And then the 2021 opening day box, that's about 30 bucks, $29.95. Uh, $5 shipping, of course. And then the 2020, 2021 Upper Decks Mega Box, which that apparently is what I have here. It's around 58. I saw some, you know, higher, and then I didn't really see any lower, but I'm sure there probably could be. And then we're going with the Series 2, <clears throat> which are around $69 apiece for the Series 2 factory sealed boxes. Here we have Series 1 boxes. These Series 1 boxes are around $30 to $40 bucks a piece. This one has $6 shipping. So the question is, what should I do? Number one, should I keep them and save them? Number two, should I sell them and make money? Or number three, should I open them all up and see what's inside? Well, check it out, comment below. It's Pete at the Small Business Resource Center and the Small Business Resource Center YouTube channel. Have a good day and remember, there's more than just real estate and stock investments. There's many things you can invest in. Have a great day.